Welcome to another installment of the Riot.js and Redux video series. If you haven't been following along, it will probably be much easier to start at the beginning, since each video builds on where the previous video left off. And remember, to get up to speed on Redux itself, you really can't beat the Egghead.io videos by Redux's creator, Dan Abramov. When we left off last time, we had created a Redux store, created a super basic reducer, and passed our store into a tag so that we could get the state and grab properties off of that state object. This time we're going to build on that example and we're going to introduce some actions. So the first thing I want to do is with this sample output tag, I want to clean it up and get rid of that excess paragraph. We don't really need that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a form because we want to add some interactivity and we're going to do that in Redux by dispatching actions. So we'll create a form. And for that forms on submit, we want to add a change title method, and we'll add that to our tag in just a moment. And my form also needs an input. So we'll take a piece of text and we're going to call that new title. And we're going to give our form a button so that we can submit that new title. Down at the bottom of my tag, I'm going to add my script tags. And I want to call change title. And for now, just so we can make sure that everything is wired up and everything's been typed properly, I'm going to throw a console log inside of change title. And I'm going to go over to my browser and refresh. And you'll notice that I have my default title and my new form. I'm going to open up DevTools. I'm going to type a new value into my form. And I'm going to click change title. And I should see the new value logged out to the console. So now that I know my form is properly wired up, I'm going to go back into my sample output tag. I'm going to remove that console log. And what I want to do is I want to get access to my store. So I'll call that through this.ops.store. And I want to use the store's dispatch method to send an event out to the reducer, or more appropriately, send an action to the reducer. So dispatch is going to send an action object and that object is going to have a type property and the type property is how we're going to decide what to do with this particular action and because i'm trying to change the title and i have a form value i also want to pass some data along with the object so aside from the type i'm also going to give it a data property and i'm going to assign the value of new title dot value to the data property now that I have that wired up, I can go back to index.js and in my reducer, I'm going to add a console log with action so we can see what's happening. So go back to my browser, refresh. I'm going to go ahead and open up the console again. I'm going to type the value this is a test into my title and I'm going to submit the form and we'll see that we get an object logged out to the console with a type value of change title, which is exactly what we assigned it in the object that we passed to dispatch. And we have a data property with the value that we typed into our input. So we know that our action is making it to the reducer. So now let's do something with it. So in my reducer, I want to add a switch because the reducer will handle multiple actions. We want to change our behavior based on the type that's passed in. And I want to add a case to my switch for change title. And because my reducer has to return a state, no matter what, I'm also going to add a default case. I'm going to take my return state that I had as the only functionality in the reducer method, and I'm going to move that up under default so that if we get an action and we don't match on the type, we'll return the state as is and everything will continue to function. So in the change title case, I want to create a new state and I'm going to give it a title property. And I'm going to assign action.data as the value to that title. And then I want to return new state. And with that in place, I'm going to go to the browser. I'm going to refresh. I'll fill out my form with my new title 
and when I submit the form, it should update the title and my tag. So just to recap, submitting the form and sample output calls change title, which uses the Redux stores dispatch method to pass along an action object. That action object has a type and a piece of data, which represents the new title. In my reducer, I switch on that action type. When I hit the change title case, I create a new state, assign the title property of that action.data, return that new state, and in my sample output tag, when it's updated, it'll call get state again and receive the new value of title. So the problem with this new state setup is that this is going to return an object that only has a title property. In a more complex application, our state will contain other values that are being used in other parts of the state tree. So we want to make sure that we only change the value we're concerned with and still return a full version of the state with only our changes reflected. So we want to do some refactoring. And I want to use object at assign. And I want to take the state and an object with my new title. And I want to combine them into a new object that gets returned to represent the new state. And if we go over to the browser, we can refresh again. It'll get our default title that we start with. Give it another new value, spelled value, and everything will continue to work. And now that we've verified that we didn't break anything while refactoring, we can go back into our code and remove this console.log. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and be sure to keep an eye out for the next video in the series.